Welcome to the channel guys. Wie ist dich hier, wenn es mich stech? In this video I'm gonna give you 10 tips for maintaining optimal performance on your Samsung phone. Could be the S21 Ultra, like in my case, should work on any Samsung phone, specifically the ones using latest One UI 3 or One UI 4. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this nasty layering which is actually almost everywhere in the interface from One UI. Swapping for the notifications will sometimes get you like opening the camera, closing the camera will get you some stutters, even going into the recent menu will get you some stutters or going to the left to get to the Google information will also get you some stutters. Now as you can see my phone right now behaves quite good, no stutters at all and I'm gonna give you guys what are my top 10 secrets to maintain this in its very good shape. Believe it or not, tip number one is going to be just restarting the phone. You can do this very easily, guys. You can just scroll down from the settings. You have a power button here, okay? You can press it and then click on the restart. Or you can hold the power button on the phone for a few seconds and then just, guys, press restart. Your phone will restart, you'll re-enter your PIN and SIM lock, and hopefully you'll benefit from this. Once your phone is restarting, guys, just wait a bit and hopefully it will run a bit smoother. And every time you do restart your phone or even also update a software, just give it some time, right? It will have to load all the widgets, everything from the very beginning. Tip 2 is also linked to restarting, but there is a yeah trick inside. So guys, hold your finger on the power button, okay? And once you get the screen with the power off restart and emergency mode, just get your finger and hold the power off button until you see something called save mode. Okay, tap it and then your phone is going to be restarted into the save mode. When should you use save mode? Well, it's just like a Windows PC, guys. If you have suspicions that one of your applications is not performing quite well, then yeah, you can use it. Once you're in the save mode, your phone is going to disable all the connections, Wi-Fi, mobile, internet, and etc. But what is more important, it will also disable all of your third-party applications. So you'll have only access to the stock applications, like a okay, game launcher, the clock, all the stock sampling applications, and everything that you have installed, every third-party application is going to be resumed. So let's say if I want to open your music right now, I cannot, because downloaded app is disabled in safe mode. And you can use this safe mode once you're inside and your phone just suddenly starts to behave a bit better, right? Even you can try to put the data back, right? And just try use YouTube, try recreate a scenario where your phone is lagging. If the phone behaves better now, then yeah, probably you get a better application and you can use safe mode, of course, to get rid of it. Now, how do you get back? Yeah, you can just restart the phone normally or just click here turn it off and then your phone is going to restart in a normal mode. My next tip will be wiping or deleting the cache partition. Now, how does this work guys? You need to enter the recovery mode. The best way for you to do this is just hook up your phone into a laptop. So I have a cable here that is connected to my laptop. I'm just going to put it on my phone, all right? Now, power off the phone by holding the power button, click power off, okay? Wait for the charging to start and then just keep holding the volume up and press and hold the power on button, okay? You'll need to wait until the phone boots. Keep holding, by the way, okay? Don't give up. Okay, congratulations. You are now into your phone's recovery. Very important message, guys. How can you navigate? Volume down, right? It's just going down. Volume up is just going up. Confirmation happens with the power on button. All right, what we need to do, we need to scroll down and find wipe cache partition, okay? Don't wipe data factory reset, because yeah, that's bad. Wipe cache partition, just press the power on button, go down, select yes, one more time, press it. And then guys, the magic is done. You can just see wiping cache, all right? So reboot system now, press one more time the power on button and disconnect the phone from your PC and you'll reboot in the normal operating status. My next tip is going to use one of my favorite Samsung stock applications. It's called The Good Guardians. I'm gonna link a link down below so you can download it. Good Guardians, inside guys, you have some very, very important and useful modules. But for the sake of the optimizations, we're gonna be using the Galaxy app booster. You can also decide which model to install, so you don't need them all. 
Galaxy App Booster. Why? Inside, you're going to have the option to optimize all of your applications. So you can just see I have 700 applications on my phone and my last optimization was 29 days ago. Before starting optimize now, you have the option to select only applications used in the past 30 days. This will reduce the process. Have in mind, this process may be one hour, even probably more if you have a lot of applications like in my case. My next tip involves playing with the battery settings from device care. And you know device care has a lot of options. So how do we access it? We have to go inside settings. We need to scroll down battery and device care. Once you're inside guys, click on these three dots and clicks to automation. Here we have a lot of options. The first one is daily auto optimizations. Now enable it, but also click inside to try to set it on. What this option will do, it will auto optimize your phone once a day, but you have to choose exactly when should this happen. In my case, this happened at 3 a.m. cause I'm sleeping and I had decided to not close up to free up memory because I just want to have all my apps open as much as I can with one year, of course. But if you want to take it to the extreme, you can also select the close up to free memory, which will mean that every day at 3 a.m. your phone is going to close all the application and it's going to free up some memory. The other also very useful option is the auto restart at set times. So once you enable this option, go inside and choose which days this should happen. Right now, I do have it only on Monday. So let's decide I want to do it also on Wednesday. And of course, I can go inside and set the time. This will mean that the phone will restart automatically within one hour of the time I've set. In this case, 4 a.m. in the morning. It will only restart when the screen is off, so you're not using it. And the battery is above 30%. And of course, the SIM card lock is off. So in my case, I'm not using it because I'm using the screen lock, but it is also an option for you to optimize your phone's performance. Also, adaptive power saving. Turn power saving on and off automatically based on your usage pattern. Let's enable that one as well. Let's now go back into the main menu of device care. And once we're here, guys, yeah, another option that is very, very straightforward. Just click optimize now. The phone will go through all the scripts and it will detect high battery usage, some apps that are crashing. It will close some of the background applications and etc. and etc. Then you can see hopefully a very good rating after the optimizations has been completed. My next tip is going to be storage handling. We are again in the device care. Click on storage. The storage application or storage management will present you the option to get rid of unused application, which is very good because you can just see in my case, almost nine gigabytes. It will also offer you the removal of duplicate files and also highlight you which are the largest files. So you can just click and directly delete them. Very useful. My next tip is going to be memory management. Click inside memory, right? You can just see here, clean now. I can already gain 800 megabytes of free memory. So I'm just gonna press the button, okay? And you can just see the phone actually cleaning the memory use. And this here is the RAM, the random access memory. So right now I have 3.6 gigabytes used from 12. So I have almost seven gigabytes free available memory. And if you don't want a phone to kill one of your favorite apps, yeah, you can just always go into the excluded apps and just add them in this list, which will mean that every time you perform this cleanup activity, those applications are gonna get excluded. Now guys, we're at the end of this video and I really hope after you implementing all these tips, you're gonna have a smoother experience like in my case. And I'm demonstrating right now, I don't have any problems with stuttering. My phone behaves battery smooth, but don't get me wrong guys, it's one UI. So yeah, it will still perform a bit sluggish sometimes. Sometimes you're gonna have these occasional stutters, but if you do this maintenance like the way I do it, then you probably improve your performance and the phone should actually treat you better if you treat the phone in a better way. I really hope that this video was useful to you. If that's the case, don't forget to really like the video, subscribe to the channel guys, and please you and your family stay safe. Until we meet in one of my next videos. Visti over and bye.